Welcome back to Tech S City, and today I'm gonna be reviewing this SSD. It's a 128 gigabyte SSD from ADATA. Now, the reason why I got this SSD was because it was the cheapest 128 gigabyte SSD currently in Japan. Uh, I got this for about $90. Every other SSD was about $100, so it was $10 cheaper, and it's SATA 3 as well. So I'm also going to be doing a quick unboxing for you guys, showing you what you get in the box, and also then I'm going to be benchmarking this with AS SSD, and I'll give you guys a conclusion and recommendation on this SSD. So this is the box, this is how it comes packaged, it comes with a 3 year warranty now, the reason why I got this SSD was because that it was only $90, and that's pretty cheap for 128 gigabytes. Now I recently sold my Corsair hard drive because I didn't have a need for it, however, uh, since I've got this AMD rig that I'm building at the moment, <laughs> I figured well I'm going to need an SSD again, so I picked up this one, and basically I'm going to say first thing before we unbox it is I don't like the way it's packaged, I mean, you've got the SSD pretty much hitting the box so this thing could easily get damaged in shipping that's one thing I sort of am noticing straight away as we um, get before we get into the unboxing here so so taking off the seal we can then start to unpackage the contents and yeah I mean there it is it's just a simple SSD it comes in the box from a data uh, it's got a quick start guide there so if you want to install the SSD quickly and then you're going to need that quick start guide. But here's the actual SSD itself. That's probably what you're most interested in. How does it feel? It actually feels really good. I like the feel of this SSD. It's lightweight, but at the same time, it, they're using aluminium, I think it is. And it feels really good. So the quality of this SSD actually feels pretty decent. Like, it feels like a nice uh, SSD. And it actually looks really nice as well. So, uh, yeah, that's the speeds. Now, I think the read speeds, sequential read speeds, are touted to be for up to 550 megabytes per second and sequential writes are up to 550. Anyway, I'll be doing some tests quickly and showing you guys how this SSD performs. Uh, let's also look what else we get in the box here. We get a, a bracket, I believe. This looks like a bracket uh, with some double-sided tape to hold it in place for maybe a laptop, I guess. Not too sure, but it comes with its uh, standard screws. Oh, that's sorry, that's for the tray. So that would be for the tray, so you can install it into a 3.5 inch drive bay. So uh, for $90, you get 128 gigabytes of SSD, you get uh, a bracket, and you get a manual. So not bad value. I'm going to test, um, I mean, this is retail as well. This is $90 retail. I didn't get this on sale, but I had the need for it. So uh, it's there. It's pretty cheap. I don't, I mean, I could probably get an SSD for $80, but I don't really see myself uh, finding one that cheap. But yeah, anyway, that's that, guys. Let's move on now to the performance of this thing. I'll be testing it against my Intel 256GB and seeing how well it performs. Okay, so moving on now to the SSD benchmarks. I pretty much only use one program, and that is AS SSD, as it's so lightweight and it's so easy, and it presents the results uh, in an easy to read format and it allows that ultimately allows me to communicate the results to you guys with relative ease so I really love this SSD benchmarking utility and I can highly recommend it uh, looking on the left here we have the Intel which is a 240 gigabyte model I managed to pick this up at a steal last year I think it was like a hundred and I forgot hundred and sixty five dollars I'd, I'd have to jog my memory but uh, as you guys know Intel SSDs are really solid especially for the money they're just solid performers they're not the best performers out there but at the same time they're definitely not the worst and uh, the reliability of Intel SSDs are actually pretty damn impressive this one hasn't missed a beat uh, neither did my Force 3 either my Corsair Force 3 that didn't miss a beat either uh, although it didn't score as high as the SSD in the benchmark but let's look on the right here the SP900 that I mean the Intel scored 780 but the SP900 scored an overall score of 475 which was um it's good it's it's pretty impressive for a entry level 120 gigabyte SSD or 128 gigabyte SSD I thought the 4k read and write speeds were very good uh, for for an entry level SSD I mean this is what makes in my opinion an SSD feel so much faster than a hard disk drive it's it's because of these 4k read and writes and the 4k read and writes on the ssd the sp900 were decent the sequential reads were pretty good as well so you're going to be loading up games pretty quick you're going to be loading up all those file have big files pretty quickly uh the sequential writes weren't that impressive i mean 
Uh, if you're doing real heavy workloads, then I probably don't recommend this SSD. But at the same time, if you've got a real heavy workstation, you're probably going to have a pretty uh, pro setup. You know, you're probably going to have some Samsung 840 Pros in there or whatnot. So um, the four, you know, 4K 64 threaded spit, uh, read and write tests weren't that bad. Um, it really, you know, and the access uh, read and write times weren't that bad either. So overall, I mean, it scored about 100 points higher than my Corsair Force 3. And my Corsair Force 3 was $100, I mean, sorry, about $30 more expensive. So uh, ultimately, this is, it's it's a good score. I mean, it's a solid score for an SSD. Uh, so now let's move on now to the conclusion. So in conclusion, this ADATA SSD is a decent buy. I mean, it's good value for money. It's the cheapest SSD I could find, and it performed reasonably well in the AS SSD benchmark. I mean, it's no um, Samsung Pro, but it's definitely a solid uh, entry-level SSD. I mean, you're going to notice a difference. If you're going to one of these from a hard drive, then you're certainly going to notice a difference in everyday usage speeds. I mean, the 4K read and writes were decent, the AS SSD scores were decent, I mean the sequential reads were decent, so I imagine this thing being a decent recommended buy for anyone or any gamer looking for a, a solid SSD with a solid warranty. I mean three years is pretty good and it also, I mean it also looks pretty good. I mean I actually, this is one of my favorite looking SSDs. I mean I might take this sticker off as well and it would just look just polished clean black so that's actually a really cool thing about this ssd if you take this a data sticker off so anyway um make sure you don't remove this rear sticker here like if you remove the rear sticker then you may have some problems with warranty so uh, ultimately it's a good product um it's not the best it's not the worst and i mean it performed better than my old corsair force 3 and i paid more for that corsair, corsair force 3 so yeah i can recommend this product uh, if you have any questions about the a data ssd then please leave a comment in the comment section below and if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and i'll be coming back to you guys soon with some more tech videos and uh, lastly another good point is, is that yeah you actually get uh, 119.71 real gigabytes of space so that's actually a good feature as well about this ssd so yeah decent ssd for the money can recommend it peace out for now bye